Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. It is July the 28th, 2024. Let's talk boxing. Let's talk Manny Pacquiao's latest fight, exhibition. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let me just say, a star is born. I never heard of this guy, Ampo, before. Right? I understand he's an athlete in a different sport. Folks, he just beat Manny Pacquiao. I know there are no official scorecards and stuff like that. It's an exhibition. He just beat Manny Pacquiao. He takes the first two rounds. It's interesting because Pacquiao, even today, has above average legs. Right? There are times in the fight where Pacquiao comes forward at him. Right? And this Ampo guy is an athlete. He's taller than Pacquiao. He has timing. He knows how to triple up on his jabs. More importantly, he has coordination. <clears throat> in other words, as Manny Pacquiao, and understand, Pacquiao's a puncher. Pacquiao's a closer. His straight left, Pacquiao's a southpaw, is really Deontay Wilderish. Right? Pacquiao can really decimate an opponent. Here he comes forward and he's in against a guy. And again, I never heard of this guy. This is a revelation for me. If you heard of the guy, tell us about it in the comment section of this YouTube video. As Pacquiao runs forward. Because the guy, of course, is keeping him outside with a jab and with excellent straight right hands, right? As Pacquiao comes forward on the guy, the guy is able to seamlessly back up. In other words, he's the tall guy who is coordinated. He has his legs working, right? So let me tell you the fight I saw. I think Pacquiao came out and thought it was an exhibition. Right? People like Ryan Garcia are in the crowd. The crowd seems to know Ampo. Right? Ampo is there. Someone forgot to tell him it's an exhibition. He's there to take down a legend. Right? So it's really deep because Ampo is able to land punches that keep Manny off balance. When Manny comes forward, Ampo, and this is the value of length, Ampo is able to force Pacquiao to miss, right? Pacquiao comes forward and he throws like three punches and Ampo moves back. Then he has ring coverage on that straight right hand. So after Pacquiao misses, Ampo is able to land a straight right. Let me say too, the fight's striking because Pacquiao, as you recall, is a little bit shorter. Pacquiao also likes to bounce. Here, he's a little bit older. He doesn't bounce as much. But understand, that does not keep the tall guy from going to Pacquiao's body. Right? It's a little bit surprising. You know, I read that this Ampo guy is a relative novice in boxing. Well, folks, he has me fooled. Right? Let me say, too, while Pacquiao right now is in prime Pacquiao, he still has above average legs. He still has above average hand speed. Right? This guy just has Pacquiao timed. So then you get to the big moment in the fight. Because I believe Manny knows he lost the first two rounds. Or at least didn't look good in the first two rounds. Maybe Manny thought he won one of the two. But Manny knew the other guy was the revelation of the night. The other guy had the crowd galvanized. So then we get to footage that must be watched. The beginning of the third round. Right, folks? It's jarring. Right? You're looking at this and you know it's not an exhibition. Pacquiao comes out determined. Pacquiao's going to close the distance. Pacquiao's going to hurt this guy. The guy comes out and lands some shots. 
And then you get something that you only see in true crime films. I don't know whether the guy's mouthpiece, you know, came out a little bit or what the story is. But he has a Joker grin on his face. Right? This has some serial killerish type of vibe going on. And he, of course, bounces back into the pocket. Pacquiao is serious. This Ampo guy is serious. This Ampo guy gives at least as good as he gets. Right? I, I question, and I know this guy's an unknown, I question whether Pacquiao would get this quality of a fight from most at 147 pounds. Right? This guy's a ringer. I don't care what his background is, right? This guy with Manny Pacquiao in front of him decides he's going to come forward on Pacquiao when Pacquiao is trying to get back in the fight. And this guy has the hand speed and has the athleticism to pull it off, right? So let's just say if I were a judge scoring this fight, and I know it sounds preposterous, Right? Exhibition, Pacquiao against a guy who doesn't have a lot of boxing experience. Folks, Pacquiao just lost this. I know it's a three-round fight. This is more beer for the promoters. Right? You're telling me this Ampo guy is not going to generate a sellout if you convince one of the other guys at 147 to travel to Asia to fight him? I mean, folks, I, <laughs> the crowd knew who he was, right? The guy has a jab. The guy has excellent feet, right? As, as I said, Pacquiao comes forward. This guy goes backward, right? The guy is able to parry Pacquiao's shots. Then he's able to come forward, and he's able to throw multiple jabs. In other words, this guy intuitively knows how to double and triple up on the jab, right? The guy is throwing left hooks. He's a righty to Pacquiao's southpaw, but that's not stopping the guy from throwing right hooks to Pacquiao's body. Even though if Pacquiao throws a straight left, the guy would be a little bit naked, right? I think a star is born. I think this Ampo guy, promoters need to find a way to keep him in a boxing ring, to have him fight some other fighters, right? Up and comers. Maybe Pacquiao wants a rematch with this guy. Pacquiao was in trying to shake off the rust so he could fight Mario Barrios, right? For the record, I thought Pacquiao, the second half of the third round, starts to show you that he still has combinations, right? He wasn't able to catch this guy flush. But I get the feeling if Pacquiao catches even Mario Barrios flush, Pacquiao might be able to knock him down like Pacquiao knocked down Keith Thurman. Let's not forget that fight, right? But here, it took Pacquiao a while to solve this guy. And the guy, in my opinion, won at least, at least, two of the three rounds, if not all three. Keep an eye on him. His name is Ampo. Folks, he has the jab, he has the legs, he can move backward, he has the straight right hand, he has ring coverage, he has hand speed, and in my opinion, he just beat a legend in a three-round exhibition. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.